Happy Saturday, everybody. Today, we're back at it again. Back with at it Pandora again. Pandora preview. <laughs> Today is the first day of annual pass holder previews to Pandora. So, we're getting ready to head in right now. For something new, there was an annual pass holders bag check with no weight at all. So, it was fantastic. Made it a lot easier to get in. I don't know what the heck is going on today, but Animal Kingdom is like crazy. It's People almost, are all over the place. It's almost like they're having an annual pass holder preview for something big. Yeah, but this doesn't feel like annual pass holders because they're like, people are saying like, I need a map. We need to find out where we're going. Oh, maybe it's uh, is it spring break or like um, I don't know. a lot of schools are in graduation right now. Maybe schools are out. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. It looks like they're expecting a really big crowd today to get into Pandora because they taped off an area for people to stand in line to get in. There we go, we're in line to get in. I think we got in line at a good time because it just started to move, so. We did it. Calte, it looks like we're still in previews, so some stuff might not be working. Back inside, it kind of feels like the noise has changed a little bit because it's overcast. It's kind of louder, right? Yeah. Also, it sounds like crickets or something, yeah, right? It's very loud cricket noises. Okay, so I have to know, what is your initial reaction to your second entrance? Oh, that's a good question. Like, I, how do you feel? I felt like I was already, like, home. Like, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, I've already been here. I know what this is all about. I am very happy that we got to come in um, a few days ago because I do feel like I kind of know where things are now and I'm not going to be as lost today. Yeah. But I, I forgot, like, how pretty it was. Yeah. I'm so excited. See, look at this. I'm seeing things that I didn't see before. I'm interested to see this at night. I don't know if we'll be able to see it tonight at night, but, like, there's lights here, well, the a little seating area. Here, it kind of looks like, are they gonna do a little show here? I think they're doing a show over here for sure. This is like the, the area where the drums are. But we, they didn't do a show when we were here last time. It was just us drumming. Right, but I, there's like a big like stage right there. Do you see it behind oh, the drums? Yeah, 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 okay, cool, yeah. Kind of looks like some of the green stuff that's in the ground looks a little bit brighter now, which I think is just glow in the dark stuff for nighttime. I think today is gonna be all about landscapes. Like, look at this. This is just some stuff that we didn't notice last time. And it's a cloudy day here today, so I feel like stuff looks a little bit different. It's not as washed out, a little bit more vibrant. I don't know, what do you guys think? I do want to see this plant all lit up at night because I can tell that it's all of these little things would light up. I can't wait to see this park at night. It's gonna be totally different. I know it's kind of like dark and backlit right now, but this does look a little bit less impressive, like on a cloudy day. It looks like the mecha suit is very popular today and pangu pangu remember last time we showed off the stroller parking today there is actually stroller there, parking in here there's there's some girls that must have seen our video that showed all the instagram spots because they're oh. like this is an instagram spot this is an instagram spot I love it. <laughs> nice I, love it. I was just looking over here and it looks like there's just a light in the bushes here i wonder what the, i want to see this place at night like look there's a light here and a light here we're going on flight of the banshee right now and i wanted to show you guys something in line that i noticed there's like a little access panel in one of the routes here that holds up the floating mountains. I wonder what's in there. Some of the detail here is real amazing though. This looks like, like dragon scales almost. Ooh. We're going in. I can't wait to ride this again. I'm really gonna like immerse myself in it. Is this the guy from Malcolm in the Middle? <laughs> He's the one who rides the Banshee ride. That's Hal, right? Behind this glass is that room where the floating animatronic is that we showed you guys last time. But this right here is amazing. There is a giant skull from a banshee. I don't think it was there before. Link Chambers is my uh, Zelda name. So we made it through the fast pass line and now we're waiting here to be like loaded into our rooms. But I think we have to wait for an entire show to pass by before we get loaded in. But it's like 160 people can fit in a room. So I think we will make it in. I think there are 160 people ahead of us. The things you think about while in line to ride Flight of the Banshee. Where do they get power from? Is there like a Pandoran nuclear power plant? I didn't notice that there were stairs up there. That, I was very confused because last time we just walked into a room like this and I was like, wait, how did people get onto a different level than us? RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just, just like on Earth, they can take decades TV. for ecosystems. On number 16. Who's it gonna match? It doesn't like me. Oh, I got it. I matched. I want to get a TV this size. That would be amazing. So move a little if you can. Wait a minute. I love that idea. Before we ride, we just have to watch this Dharma Initiative video. It'll feel like you're really there. I'm gonna go ahead and say I was probably a little bit too harsh on this ride the last time we rode it. It was a very good ride. I enjoyed it, but I do have to warn you guys: if you get motion sickness on any rides. 
you will get motion sickness on this ride. Like it is very encompassing and very involved. And there's one part where it does like, it, the actual vehicle doesn't flip, but the screen is a simulated barrel roll. And that probably will throw a bunch of people off. Not the ride, you won't get thrown off the ride, but it will throw you off mentally. Oh, it smells like weird knobby parts here. Just walking through Wind Traders and looking at some of the detail in here. And especially like just looking up at the ceiling. So much detail. Right above the Banshee Rookery, there is a map of Pandora in the ceiling. And of course, there's still filming commercials here for before it opens. Here's the Banshee Cup. That is the souvenir cup here at Pangu Pangu. And here's the little glow seed. Can I, can I pull it out? Is that okay? Really cool. Yeah. Ooh, the camera can't figure it out. There it goes. Interesting. Some of the detail outside of Wind Traders is really cool. Everything outside of Pangu Pangu, all the details are old RDA things. Like this right here looks like it's part of one of the mech suits. And looking at it, I think it was an old arm off of one. At Pangu Pangu, I got another Hawks Green Ale, and it looks like it's a totally different color now. It's like a different color green. They're cooking over the open fire today. Before we start in on the food, what did you get for your drink? Ooh, I got the Night Blossom, and it looks like a dragon frapp. Doesn't Ooh. it look just like the dragon frappuccino? It does. It doesn't taste like it. It tastes, it's like cherry limeade with a bunch of uh, passion fruit style juices. It's really good, but it's very sweet. What are the bobas? Do you know passion fruit bobas? Passion bobas. And then we got the chicken bowl this time with a quinoa salad underneath. And then these are just the regular greens, right? I think so. She said it was broccoli, but I don't think it's broccoli. I think it's kale. And then, and then you got, oh, here it is. Chimichurri sauce. This actually looks really filling. Like yeah, it more does. filling than I can probably eat. Look at how big this thing is. Right? And then I got I got my cheeseburger pods again. Everything's exactly the same as last time. Except for they're a little bit like open this time. So I'm interested to see if it tastes any different or if it's just as dry as it was last time. For dessert, I got this blueberry cream cheese dessert. This thing looks like an alien dessert. I love it. Okay, so this is the chocolate cake dessert. It doesn't look as exciting as the blue one, but it looks much more delicious to me. And then here is the Dreamwalker Sangria, and I think they're grapes on top. Mm -hmm. It looks very interesting. Okay. Ooh, look at how weird it looks on the inside. Well, that's interesting. Oh no, <laughs> is that good or bad? I mean, it's, no, it's not good. Let me try, <laughs> let me try. <laughs> It's blueberry, it's literally blueberry cream cheese. Like if you just opened up a canister of Philadelphia blue cheese, like blue cream. I don't, I don't hate it, but it is not what I thought it would taste like. Yeah. It's not super sweet. I thought it was gonna be really, really, really sweet and it's not. I kind of like it. Oh no. It, it doesn't taste bad. The chocolate one to me didn't taste good at all. Well, I haven't tried the actual chocolate It doesn't, yet. it tastes like if chocolate didn't have any sugar in it. Like, mm. like not fun chocolate. You know healthy chocolate? That's what it tastes like. I think it's supposed to be healthier because that's sort of like the idea of Animal Kingdom. No, I get it. I get it. But I'm just telling you that healthy chocolate isn't as good as regular chocolate. I just tried the chocolate thing and if you take a spoonful of unsweetened chocolate baking powder. That's what it tastes like. That's what it tastes like. It is very unsweet. Yeah, it's very unsweet. Not my favorite. I like the blueberry actually better than the chocolate. Well, it tastes like a blueberry cheesecake. Walking out and there's like a manhole cover here that has the RDA stuff all over it. I love the theming in this land. Just started raining outside so a lot of people are heading into wind traders to try to escape the rain. And I wanted to show you guys, you can get your own plant in a little beaker. Look how cool this is. Like it's a pitcher plant. This one $29. Yeah, $49.99. Pretty expensive for a little plant, but it's nice. It's an Asian pitcher plant though, so I think it grows differently than the ones that we have here. Because <laughs> ours, ours are like hanging upside down. Like these? Yeah, so what's the difference? I don't know. This looks more like the actual plants in Pandora. Looking across the crowd here, it looks like a lot of banshees have been adopted out of the rookery today. There's a lot of empty branches. I miss the rain down in Mora. They've got a construction wall around the backside. I think maybe this is where the test seats are gonna go for Flight of the Banshees. Wait in line for the river journey just to get out of the rain. It's about a 30 minute wait, not too bad. This line is moving really, really fast. 
The guy was impressed how fast we are moving in this. Not standing still at all. Which is crazy for a boat ride, not an Omni I Love the theming of the water fountains here in the line. It looks like it rolls away, but it doesn't, and you can fill your water bottle. Yeah. Hopefully trying to wait out the rain, but it's looking like we're not gonna wait it out. We're getting ready to get on the Navi River journey. We're trying to stay dry. It's not raining too hard, but it's still, I don't wanna mess up my mustache. Just comparing sizes of hands between Jen and a Navi. I never minded Avatar in the rain. Actually, I do, I don't like the rain. I feel like the last time we came through, we didn't show this so good, but this is the RDA complex, and you can see where they've drilled through to come in. And now we're in the airlock. And like, check out the, uh, oh. what do you think? What's the code? Well, it would be the 61312. Ones, the ones that are most used. 61312. Is that your code for something? That's my PIN number. Oh. Attention, the toxicity levels have reached maximum. Cease work immediately. You could say that there is extreme toxicity of this city. Of the city. Looking down over here, you can see some of the stuff, some of the glowing, some of the bioluminescence that will happen in the concrete when it gets dark in here. We're just inside the queue for flight of passage. This is something that wasn't in the lab the last time. This gigantic, scary banshee skull. I'm not gonna lie. Fan lizard team oh. to the incubator bay. Fan lizard team? You bread raptors. The lizard fan. This is a, a lot scarier looking than, you know the one that's in Potter? Yeah. Like that, this is much scarier than that was to me and that was a little bit scary to me. I kind of feel like they added a larger size styrofoam ball in here. Into the Kunz tube. You can kind of hear the tones a little bit. Cause I'm talking about my best friend. There he is. He's doing his ab workout. Yeah. I think we have made it out of the rain. I'm starting to see a few clear spaces in the sky. And we're just a little bit wet. But we're still in Pandora. We're doing it. I do like it with all of the rain clouds in the background and everything. Look at that. The waterfalls look so amazing. Wanted to give you guys a close up on the sign for River Journey. And this is the Shaman of Songs. I think this is really cool looking from right here. So as soon as it started raining earlier, uh, the river journey was a 30 minute wait. Now that it's done raining, it's like a zero minute wait. It's a walk on, We're, there's nobody in line in front of us. You can see the security camera up there. Admit, we have ridden the Navi River journey probably about 12 times back. My it's very, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's stuck in your head. <laughs> oh, okay, so Doug wants to see the, the little animals that set water. Oh, yeah, let's go see that. Yeah. Okay, they're only allowing fast pass in for flight of passage, and this is the fast pass line right here. Wow, I think my favorite part is the purple goo. Oh, gross. Oh. I feel like the purple goo is better than the purple wall, even. Yeah, you, this is Instagram goo. As we were okay. looking around, this right here is where those little animals are that squirt at us. <laughs> and then if we look to the right over here, there's Satuli Canteen. And then there's this weird like path back here that leads over to Festival of the Lion King. Like they're not letting us go out that way this time because that's they're like quarantining us, but that's the, the way. Opens, you're gonna come in by Nomad. Yeah. And then you're gonna exit. They're gonna show you out this way. Gotcha. So somebody could possibly come right in, miss everything, and then just go out and go to see Festival of the Lion King. Oh, no. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these are plants or animals? I'm gonna go with animals, but they could be plants because they're not moving very much. They're just kind of like floating there. Did it. She's doing it. She's doing it. She joined us. Oh, she's really getting into it. Oh, we did it. Yay! Teamwork. We were just looking at some of the face painting options and they have all their prices here marked underneath them. Pretty amazing. Whoa, this one's intense. 
<laughs> in front of Pangu Pango, I wanted to show you guys a few little details here and there of all of these dog tags are Imagineers that helped build Pandora. There's Joe Roney. All of these signs are old RDA signs that they repurposed for this Pangu Pangu. I think we're gonna head out of Pandora and it kind of looks like the next group of people is starting to come in right now. Look, the little baby ones started spraying their spores everywhere too. Oh dear. It's gonna do it for us from Pandora, the world of Avatar. Yeah. We spent quite a long time in here. Okay, so wait, before we end this part, I kind of want to know Doug's thoughts. Oh yeah, so yeah my thoughts. Okay, so this was my first time here. Um, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, detailed, the rides are fun. If you have motion sickness, the flight of passage, I don't know. But it was fun. Can't wait to come back. I can't wait to see it at night. Um, what do you think of the boat ride? Boat ride was nice. Very relaxing. Great, great place to get away on a hot day and just sit in there and float. I agree. Yeah. And a very impressive animatronic. All of these people waiting to come in right now. I think it was a good time for us to head out. So there's the line to get into Pandora. I'm pretty glad that we got in there early because the line is stretching around the park. So it has officially started raining again and <laughs> I don't like the rain, as you guys know. But we are very happy that it's raining because Florida needs yeah. the rain. Florida does need the rain, but we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. My name is Austin and now it's time to get